A one-year-old male child presents with ataxia and abnormal eye movements. Diagnosis is. So, first of all, looking at the clinical scenario, this is a one-year-old child. So, the age itself rules out multisystem atrophy and progressive supranuclear palsy, which is seen in adults and not in an infant, a one-year-old child. So, either it's Joubert syndrome or it's glutaric aciduria. Then the history of ataxia and abnormal eye movements. Ataxia means probably there is some problem in the cerebellum. And we know that it is Joubert syndrome which affects the cerebellum. So the answer is cerebellum. So we can answer this question even without looking at the image. But now let us take the diagnosis from the image. Now here we have this MRI. MRI because the bone is black here. So this is a MRI. This here is the fourth ventricle. Fourth ventricle is hyper intense white. So it's a T2 weighted MRI. What we see here is the shape of the fourth ventricle. So this fourth ventricle shape, this is like bat wing or it is like umbrella. So it is a bat wing or umbrella shaped fourth ventricle. Why do we get this shape? Because here in this region, the cerebellum vermis is absent. The vermis which connects the two cerebellar hemispheres is absent, which is a feature of Joubert syndrome. So a bat wing or umbrella shaped fourth ventricle is a feature of Joubert syndrome due to absent or hypoplastic cerebellar vermis. So these are the features of Joubert syndrome. Because of the brainstem thing, we know that it gives molar tooth sign. So the molar tooth looks like this. This is the molar tooth appearance here, which is basically because of the superior cerebellar peduncles, which are elongated and thickened. So that's the molar tooth sign and bat wing or umbrella fourth ventricle in Joubert syndrome. In glutaric aciduria, there is bat wing appearance of sylvian fissures. So remember glutaric aciduria is bat wing sylvian fissure. Joubert syndrome is bat wing fourth ventricle.